the attitude, no attitude teaching. Attitude, no attitude means that there is no need for what are known as long sword attitudes. Even so, attitudes exist as the five ways of holding the long sword. However you hold the sword, it must be in such a way that it is easy to cut the enemy well in accordance with the situation, the place, and your relation to the enemy. From the upper attitude, as your spirit lessens, you can adopt the middle attitude. And from the middle attitude, you can raise the sword a little in your technique and adopt the upper attitude. From the lower attitude, you can raise the sword a little and adopt the middle attitudes as the occasion demands. According to the situation, if you turn your sword from either the left or right side attitude towards the center, the middle or lower attitude results. The principle of this is called existing attitude, non-existing attitude. The primary thing when you take a sword in your hands is your intention to cut the enemy, whatever the means. Whenever you parry, hit, strike, spring, or touch the enemy's cutting sword, you must cut the enemy in the same movement. It is essential to attain this. If you think only of hitting, springing, striking, or touching the enemy, you will not be able to actually cut him. More than anything, you must be thinking of carrying your movement through to cutting him. You must thoroughly research this. Attitude and strategy on a larger scale is called battle array. Such attitudes are all for winning battles. Fixed formation is bad. Study this well. To hit the enemy in one timing. In one timing means when you have closed with the enemy to hit him as quickly and directly as possible without moving your body or settling your spirit while you see that he is still undecided. The timing of hitting before the enemy decides to withdraw, break, or hit is this in one timing. You must train to achieve this timing, to be able to hit in the timing of an instant. The Abdomen Timing of Two When you attack and the enemy quickly retreats, as you see him tense, you must feint a cut. Then, as he relaxes, follow up and hit him. This is the Abdomen Timing of Two. No design, no conception. In this method, when the enemy attacks and you also decide to attack, hit with your body and hit with your spirit and hit from the void with your hands accelerating strongly. This is the no design, no conception cut. Monan Muso means the ability to act calmly and naturally even in the face of danger. It is the highest accord with existence when a man's word and his actions are spontaneously the same. This is the most important method of hitting. It is often used. You must train hard to understand it. The flowing water cut. The flowing water cut is used when you are struggling blade to blade with the enemy. When he breaks and quickly withdraws, trying to spring with his long sword, expand your body and spirit and cut him as slowly as possible with your long sword, following your body like stagnant water. You can cut with certainty if you learn this. You must discern the enemy's grade. Continuous cut. When you attack and the enemy also attacks and your swords spring together in one action, cut his head, hands, and legs. When you cut several places with one sweep of the long sword, it is the continuous cut. You must practice this cut. It is often used. With detailed practice, you should be able to understand it. The Fire and Stones Cut The Fire and Stones Cut means that when the enemy's long sword and your long sword clash together, you cut as strongly as possible without raising the sword even a little. This means cutting quickly with the hands, body, and legs, all three cutting strongly. If you train well enough, you will be able to strike strongly. The red leaves cut means knocking down the enemy's long sword. The spirit should be getting control of his sword. When the enemy is in a long sword attitude in front of you and intent on cutting, hitting, and parrying, you strongly hit the enemy's long sword 
with the fire and stones cut, perhaps in the spirit of the no design, no conception cut. If you then beat down the point of a sword with a sticky feeling, he will necessarily drop the sword. If you practice this cut, it becomes easy to make the enemy drop his sword. You must train repetitively. Thank you.